Hello everyone, my name is Greta, welcome to my channel and welcome to another video where we are going to be talking all about activating those glutes. If you are doing lunges and deadlifts and squats and hip thrusts and you are not taking steps before you hit your leg day, to activate your booty, what are you doing? Why? Why? Why not? <laughs> So what you're going to need is a band. Um, this is just the Grace Fit UK band. I've had it forever and ever. It is my favorite. And then this is completely optional, but I do use a lightweight um, dumbbell or a plate that I'll, um, if I'm working out at the gym. So this is just a 10 pound dumbbell that I have at home. So if you are ready to get your glutes fired up, Keep on watching. All right, so first up we have banded crab walks here. Um, option if you want to add more resistance, go ahead and use a dumbbell. So you really want to make sure that you are keeping your core activated the entire time here. Keep it pulled in and you definitely do not want to be feeling anything in your lower back you really want to feel this in your glutes um, and definitely make sure you're not bouncing up and down a lot. Um, just take it nice and slow. Take slow walks. Um, I try to stay as low as I possibly can, but I'm definitely feeling this, um, especially after the 45 seconds are up. It really, really <laughs> kicks in. Right, so next up we have banded hip thrusts. Um, you wanna put the band, I like to keep it a little bit closer to my knees versus closer to my glutes. And as you lift up, you want to squeeze the booty. All right, you really wanna squeeze it. That is where you want to be feeling this. Now, I will say, as I've learned, if you are doing these or hip thrust in general, and you're feeling it more in your quads than your glutes, your feet might be a little bit too close to you. So I would actually move your feet a little bit outward. Um, that at least is what I have found really helps me activate the glutes versus hitting the quads more than anything else. All right, our next ex exercise is called good mornings. Um, at least this is a, my variation of them. I do banded and I also like to just add in a weight. I really feel this um, in the glutes, but also in the hamstrings. Now in this exercise, keep your knees slightly bent, a little bit more than hip width apart. And what you also wanna be conscious of is to keep your abdominals in keep your core activated and you do want to keep your back straight you do not want to have a curve you will if you do that you will start feeling it in your back in your lower back which is what we do not want and at the same thing as hip thrust once you are up squeeze the booty all right then we have donkey kicks um i do variations of these i for the most part, we'll stick to in the beginning of my workout before I really hit legs, I will do pulses of donkey kicks. It is just my preferred method. You want to keep these slow. You want to keep them controlled. And you really want to make sure that you aren't moving the upper half of your body. And you want to make sure that as you're kicking up, do not kind of kick up in so your lower back moves um, and what really helps me is to flex the foot and basically think of kicking your foot as if trying to leave a footprint on the ceiling um, that's kind of the imagery that I have while I'm doing this exercise and again as you kick up squeeze the booty and that will really get you to feel it Okay, and then we have this kind of kickback variation. So you basically want to reach your leg out into a diagonal form. And again, we are going to do pulses here. I find that pulses in the beginning of a workout, honestly, is what really works for me. It's what really gets my legs fired up. 
Um, and you're again, want to keep this controlled. You want to keep your core activated here and you do not want to kick so high up or do it at such a fast speed that it ends up actually affecting your lower back. Um, and for me personally, to really help keep my balance here, I like to keep my toes tucked. Um, so as you can notice, the foot that is currently on the ground, my toes are tucked in. It just kind of helps with the balance. It helps me personally keep more control throughout the whole exercise and squeeze at the top. Okay, and for our final exercise here, it is a variation of a fire hydrant. So what you basically want to do is keep your toes tucked in, keep your abs tight, keep your core in, and you want to kick outwards like the regular fire hydrant work exercise that you might have seen. And then instead of just putting the leg back down, you want to kick behind you. And again, I like to keep that foot flexed um, and just again, pretend that you are trying to leave an imprint of your foot to the back of the room. And you really want to, so once you, your first movement of kicking to the side, you want to squeeze your booty. And again, you want to squeeze it again once you kick to the back. Take these nice and slow. I was having kind of issues, um, if you can tell, kind of keeping it centered, but keep them nice and slow. Go at your own pace. All right, so there you have it. Those are my top workouts that I do every time before I do a leg workout. It doesn't matter if that day the workout is going to be, you know, it might be quad based regardless. What I have found as somebody who has muscular imbalances is that if you do not activate all the muscles properly, um, you're gonna get injured. So I've had hip tendonitis. Um, I've had multiple, just random injuries and usually it is due to the fact that my hamstrings and my glutes do not work like they should. And that is because I was not taking the proper time before I hit a leg workout to really activate those muscles. So that way, once I get into the actual workout, I am warmed up, I am fired up, all my muscles are going to be working as they should. So if you have any questions, comments, concerns, leave them in the comments down below. I will do my best to get back to you. Um, if you have not subscribed to my channel, go ahead and hit the big red button. I upload new videos every single week and I will see you next time. Bye.